Hello, RPG fanatics. It is I, Carrie Martell, with my younger brother, Charlie. And we are playing a game that I put together a couple weeks ago. I haven't had a lot of time to work on it because Charlie has been playing a lot of League of Legends and Terraria, and I don't actually have a uh, Windows PC. I have a Chromebook and a Mac, and, and this software doesn't work on it. But anyway, this is a game that I put together when the internet was down one afternoon. And how did this start again? Uh, I told you you should make a game, and you said you couldn't make game before the internet came back up. No. And I said challenge accepted. You didn't even finish this game, so it doesn't you could matter. Shut your mouth. It doesn't matter if I finished it. I designed quite a bit of it, and it's a. I mean, you can play this anyway. So this game is called This Is an RPG. Very clever title. And let's get to it. Charlie's gonna be playing it. Um, so here we are on Doom Island, and this is our main character. Uh, we're at the humble village, which I wonderfully designed myself. Oh, and if you're smart enough to actually <laughs> look in this specific barrel on this specific spot, you'll find some money. That's right. It's it's hidden, hidden, hidden stuff. Anywhere else you won't find it. It's a little yeah. blacksmith shop. It's a little blacksmith shop. The idea was that we were gonna have like a dating sim, and here's our first lovely, lovely last that you could date, the uh, blacksmith's daughter. There's uh. Yeah, you can't afford that shit. You're poor. Yeah, I wish I could though. Okay. Okay. So, uh, chat with her. Yeah, we'll do. Hi, welcome to our whip shop. I wish I could find a handsome adventurer who would go on a date with me. Shut up, bitch. Go back to work. Okay, Papa. He's so overprotective. By the way, I just want to point out that I did not design these faces. All of the faces in this game, every single one of them, was randomly generated by the RPG Maker program, including our hero, Ash, who has been named this way because he looks like ass. <laughs> so, but back to the humble village and... Um, it's not all done, obviously, right? You can't go in there yet to do the farming. I thought shit. that was the end. No, that's this is the end. So, um... There's our favorite character. Let's, <laughs> not, let's not talk to him yet, though. Yeah, welcome to my tavern. What do you need, boy? You're kind of cute, you know that? So wink, wink. Yeah. So you can order a bed. You can order a meal. What are you going to do? How about a run of bed? We have the finest beds in the whole island. Rest well. You manage to spend the night in the shittiest bed you've ever slept in, and you do get bit by mites. See, you, you skipped through the dialogue too fast. They didn't even I hear the thing not. where he mentioned that there are hardly any bed bugs in the bed. Well, so now you can... Hi, welcome to our tavern. <laughs> My name is Tabitha, and I I'll be your waitress. I haven't seen this person yet, actually. And she'll eat your fucking face. <laughs> Good tidings to you, boy! I am Carlos, the uh, famous hero known throughout the world, stabber of goblins and deflower of maidens fair. This guy's terrible. Might I interest you in a proposition? I am in need of a fledgling adventurer such as yourself to serve as my new squire. The last one ran away. I wonder why. What say you, boy? Would you like to serve me? I seek to conquer the Tower of Doom, the most famous landmark of this isle. Why, I even have a mystic talisman that will allow us to entrance to the tower. Why, hello there, I am the student sword, the blade that all true heroes wield before they become a master. Hmm, sounds familiar. She's <laughs> kind of biased in there. <laughs> Neat, huh? He's also super powerful. You know that weapons and armor allow us heroes to use powerful skills in battle, right? The student sword is equipped with many strong skills. I can even double attack when I swing him. Fascinating, right? I was forged in the fiery pits of Mordor by the gods themselves. Right. Though my power has waned over the centuries. You are still the mightiest blade I have ever owned, old chap. Anyway, boy, if you want to get your own legendary armaments, you should follow me into the tower, yes? Yeah, man, good. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Don't be a coward, say yes. Please say yes. I can't go on an adventure without someone to witness my heroic deeds. Nah. Excellent! We shall go immediately! And then he just starts following you around. <laughs> He's the legendary hero, Carlos. I didn't get to listen to his theme music. I wasn't paying attention. You're being too loud. Well, that's because you're moving too fast through the game. 
I just want to get this over with. <laughs> this is an awesome game, and don't even say that. I'm so, trying to get to one. So part. We're in, I'm trying to get to a certain Okay, part of it's the time game. to do your Thane student sword. Unlock the tower using your magic. No problemo, dude. But well, stop that! I didn't You're going realize. too fast. I didn't realize that there was. You're going too fast. Box. There's there's tons of dialogue. You're I did going not too fast realize. over my excellent writing. Now do this the right way, okay? Only the clever may conquer the challenges of this tower. This is really hard. So puzzle. this is the first puzzle. This so the original idea for this was I wanted to do like Lufia's um, ancient dungeon. So it's like random dungeons that has a roguelike, but I can't figure out how to do that shit in RPG Maker. So really hard. So instead, I just sort of did whatever. I just threw some fucking dungeons together with some mild puzzles. Are you really gonna escape? There's no point for gonna well, level up. You five should at times. least show them some of the abilities. You can see those during the boss fights. Whatever. Yeah, here we go. Aha, Squire, look over yonder. It appears a boss stands before us. Oh, God. Boss monsters are much stronger than regular enemies and usually have to be defeated before we can advance to the next level. Standard affair! Now Squire, stand back and watch as I take on the boss mano a mano. Carlos dies. Famous hero. <laughs> oh shit, that boss is fucking strong. Well, young squire, guess it's time for you to step up to the plate. Right here at the window. Well. You're gonna need to equip me if you hope to have a chance to defeat the boss. Don't worry about the fact Carlos just died in front of you despite wielding me. He was kind of an idiot. I'm sure you have much better luck, and if not, I'm gonna be stuck in this damn dungeon forever. So, make, so you have to go in the uh, menu and equip the student sword, that's not the equip menu. But yeah. When I have a pocket knife, I can fight with a pocket knife. Whatever. I did the, it. Nope. Uh, the student nope. sword. Nope, uh, pocket knife. Equip the student sword. Pocket knife. The student sword. Pocket knife. No, the point is to do it the right way. <laughs> but I can beat him with the pocket knife. The pocket knife doesn't have any skills. It's level. It has five less attacks. No, student sword. That's the way you're supposed to fucking play the game, damn it. The way is shut. It was made by those who are dead. Only the dead may pass. You should make it so I have no weapons and have to equip something. <laughs> you would fail. And this, so yeah, the idea with this is that equipping different weapons will give you different skills. This does nothing, by the way. This is literally useless skill. It's not useless. Attacks all enemies. Oh yeah, that didn't work out to help me last time. You're <laughs> <laughs> not supposed to use it on one character. So yeah, the student sword can attack twice. Since when does this guy not hurt? Did you weaken him or something? My, it's been a while. It's like five damage. Well, I don't remember. It's been like a week since I got to work on this game, no Mister uh, Terraria, Terraria Master. Yeah, I, I finally beat it completely, so I'm done for a long time. But uh, the basic design of this is that. Um, Boss fight there's, pu there's puzzles on every floor. There's hidden items on every floor. Great, great. What the fuck are you doing? Oh yeah, I Th have, this is dialogue. I have, I have my habit of going through it immediately. That's a, that's a terrible habit to have in an RPG. I usually have. That's that. terrible. I have that when I play Pokemon. I just kind of like terrible oh, habit. <laughs> no matter. This tower is bound to be full of such items. Now let's climb those stairs and loot this tower. RPGs are stories, okay? Well, at least this type of game is storyline. Don't fucking skip the story, dipshit. <laughs> Alright. There's nothing important. Find the fucking stairs. Nothing important, anyways. So. Escape crystal and five potions were found. Excellent! This item will teleport us to the first floor of the tower. If we get in trouble, use this item to avoid certain death. By the way, isn't it strange this floor looks completely different than the previous level? The architect was either insane or a genius. I mean, these floors seem generated primarily by magic, but there is no reason or reason to the magic formula. Very peculiar indeed. All right. Can't believe you're skipping over dialogue. You know, I do that on habit. It's a terrible habit. A dragon's whore contains at least 500 coins. Yeah. This is a riddle, obviously. I think it wants us to have 500 pieces of zenny. We don't have that much, so we're going to have to grind on monsters until we do. Or, if you fall in one specific spot... The floor crumbles and you fall through it. You're ruining it. Don't ruin it. <laughs> so now we're back on the second floor. And there's Carlos. Ooh, spooky! Oh, hey, it's Carlos. 
I'm now a ghost! God damn it, Carlos! Carlos was ghost emerged. I must now haunt you! <laughs> so the basic idea is for Carlos to make various appearances on, throughout the tower. I just 1,000 damaged him. Yeah, um, but he did creepy touch on you though, so it all yeah. evens out. He only did like 10 damage. Hey, this isn't right, I mean, boo, how can you be winning? Got the ghost talk crap, or got the ghost talk act, Carlos. Come on guys, I was just having a little fun, no harm, no foul, right? No way, you're a monster now, and a true hero defeats all comers. Ash, finish this loser. Whoa, 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 wait, hey, come on, old buddy, weren't we friends before? That was before you died and became a ghost who decided to attack us. Mercy is for the weak. It's like crap for damage. So I decided that since the hero is the standard silent protagonist, we needed some sort of sidekick character. And uh, the student sword is it. It'd be a bit of a mouthpiece. Ash is victorious, and then you got 1,000 Zeddy points. Yeah. And a leather vest, and, and red wine, and leveled up. And now you can climb the ladder. And now you can go solve the puzzle. Look in the eye. A dragon's work contains at least 500 points. Blah, blah, blah. blah. It's solved. Da, 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 da. So the battle system, like, this is just some shit I threw together. I don't know if I'm going to keep it dragon, you know, classic dragon warrior style, classic dragon quest style. Or if I'm gonna try to do something a little bit more Final Fantasy side view, I haven't decided yet. Hmm. I don't know what the puzzle for this is. That's hmm. yeah, it's a puzzle. You have to figure it out, Charlie. There's no point in fighting the minor enemies if you just level up the bosses like ten times. So. Says the guy who got his ass kicked previously. We you discovered a sorcerer's orb. At these points, you can learn magic spells that will always stay with you, regardless of what equipment you use. You feel the power of the orb infuse your body. You learn the fire spell. Sweet, the fire spell adds a burning effect to your enemies. You're skipping over dialogue again. Stop well, that. You, were pretty what much, is, what you, got, you got the gist of it. It's not okay. This is called a let's play, dumbass. <laughs> Found a bandana. Now you need to equip the bandana. That's Other people are gonna watch this. Blood. Equip the bandana. Equipment. Yeah. Change and add the. Headgear, obviously. You get what the it does, it has the shout skill. Shout. I don't know. And then the leather vest. The leather vest. And adds the heal spell. Now you've got additional skills. And uh, since there's absolutely no point in not doing this, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you can hear yourself for four mana, everybody. There's no mana potions. So. Well, there's still some balance necessary. There it is. Alright. What does Shad even do again? Forget. It stuns the enemies. Oh. Less useful for the one in the party, but. Oh, I don't want to do this. <laughs> uh, let me check some stuff. This here. is this is the difficulty curve, boss. The Crusher of Spirit. At least it was. I don't know if it still is. See, or not. this is this is funny because you always like, oh, I can just escape these battles. You don't do any like grinding even along the way. I can just level up from the bosses. It'll be fine. That is not dead, which can eternal lie, and with strange eons, even death may die. <laughs> now remember the way that you're supposed to do it. You're supposed to use a fire spell. Which adds the burn poison effect to him every turn. Helps with the damage. You're supposed to. Oh, you can't even use shout yet, can you? You gotta build it up. Costs freaking so much. You need to build it up. I'll use it for the next fight, okay? The next fight is about 10 times harder than this one. Good job. I'm not dead yet. It's you better build up your TP. Uh, now we... You don't have to give him the ability to blind you, okay? <laughs> He's a boss, motherfucker! It's supposed to be hard. Not necessary. It's supposed to be hard. 
Okay, it's not supposed to be this high. You better save your MP for healing, too. I think you healed a little bit too early. You shut your mouth, okay? <laughs> you blinded me, I can't do <laughs> See, look at that! I can't do anything! You blinded That's me. why you have magic spell, dumbass! Oh my... There you go! Yeah, I'm only gonna blind it after the battle's over. And then there's more. <laughs> he duplicated on ya. Die. There you go. I better get the fire on both of them. This is where I die. Everybody knows fire works against undead. This is most definitely where I die. Well, that's yeah, your this, fault because you didn't is, do any grind and you were in such a is, hurry. This is where I die. You were in such a hurry to die. It double attacked. What? <laughs> that would double attack too! <laughs> it's a good thing potions are broken. Aw, oh, thank you potions for being broken. They're not broken, you're still gonna lose. <laughs> no, I'm not. It's not. I got five you have, How many times have you done this before and never been able to do it right? Like three. It's funny because you mock my game, you can't even beat the second <laughs> boss. Shout! Yeah, no effect on the B1. Okay, that's great. Uh, and we're getting balance almost immediately. Okay. Good to know. Well, he's a <gasps> skeleton. I'm no longer blinded. Good. I don't, I don't want to risk the special. It's stupid. I don't want to risk the double attack. I got almost uh, mana and potions. Um. He thinks it's broken because the potions heal 50%, but that's actually good because it scales. So that you don't have to have, like, you know, potions that end up being completely useless later on down the road. Not broken. Broken early. You're still gonna get your ass kicked. And my fucking skeleton captains. You still have to double attack wrong. With the captains, you can make it happen. God. This is like so unnecessarily hard. <laughs> you thought it was gonna be easy, didn't you? Oh, I got one. You got one of them. Okay, let's do this. That's better than in the past. I can only use two more fire spells. You better save it. Maybe not. Cry attack up. Ooh. I'm not gonna risk the double attack. Probably wise. He might double attack you. Got a hit like that, and that's right. The strong attack has a hundred percent hit rate. Dang it. I don't know. I don't know if you can do it. I don't want to cast your magic. Oh, you can't cast magic no more. And he bited. Oh. I guess you're fucked. He did attack three times in a row? <laughs> <laughs> oh my hey. god, you beat him! Amazing! So unnecessarily hard. <laughs> and I love it up once. Woohoo! Another floor conquer! I only love it up once from that. You're pretty good at this adventure stuff. Wonder why that is. Are Yet you descended from any up... famous hero type people? Was Yet... your birth foretold? Yet I love it up prophecy? twice from Carlos. No. <laughs> okay, then I'll take credit. You're going through the dialogue again. Oh, this is a new floor. All right. Okay. Yeah. Actually, this floor is not finished, so the game's over for you. Look, it's a crystal deposit. Can you escape crystal. Right here. Can you escape? But damn! Now you're out of the. Oh, look, now I can read this dialogue. The tower was built aeons ago. I am but one of the devices created to assist in the climbing of the tower. I can tell you no more than that until you are proven worthy. for the best. So yeah, that's basically the game so far. Um, that full dating system hasn't been implemented yet. The this doesn't do anything. Oh, it does do something. It doesn't do anything yet. I haven't d added the functionality yet. But basically the idea is that you can improve the town, make it cooler. You can date the various girls. Her first. You can date the girls. You can also date the innkeeper. <laughs> And you uh, can customize your weapon and the skills that they have. Uh, there's also a plan to be a crafting system. Now, I honestly don't know if I'm how long it's going to take me to finish this game since 
it's not a main priority for me. Obviously, I'm doing other things, and I'm just working on this, you know, when I happen to. Not super hard serious about this, but if you guys think this game's kind of cool or fun, uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Is this a game that you would actually want to play? Um, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys later.